if if I ever own an office, it's gonna be like stupid trendy bullshit all over the place. Are you kidding me? It's gonna be ridiculous. Also, all these different people like, run different. Everyone has different offices and stuff, and then like the people working on Dream Dead are three people sitting at a ch at a random table in the middle <laughs> of a room. Yeah, my our, my office is gonna be like uh, it's gonna be Bruce Lee themed. So it's you're gonna walk in and it's gonna get punched in the face right away, but you gotta dodge yeah, it. Face punch. Or you can get punched in the face. It's fine. Anyway, bonus And points. then there'll be like there'll be posters of Bruce Lee, and then the desks will be shaped like Bruce Lee, and then. And then the, the desktop <laughs> backgrounds will be Bruce Lee. Gamify your office energy. Ga uh, uh. <laughs> I said all your favorite words. <laughs> all your favorite words. I am two thousand. I am still two hundred points below my armor limit. I oh. am forty-five points above it because we played through on a higher difficulty. This game also has Skinner boxes, but it's very easy to understand because it's literally just what guns do you have now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Which guns is it? Because you can't even call the armor a Skinner box, it's just a linear grind of a number yeah. literally just getting higher every time you pick up a thing. It's like yep. coins in Mario, except it's your health. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let's play the game. E. Sup, 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 sup. Don't let them drag you down. <laughs> what what food did you order, Brid? What are you eating? I ordered Shizwan something. I don't remember. It's Chinese food. Shizwan? So, Amazon Prime Now restaurant orders. Um, apparently added a new feature where you can reorder stuff that you like. Oh. So, it just, I just opened up the website and it was like, you want this shit again? I was like, yes. I was like, good. <laughs> and then I left the website and it was the best, it was the best ordering experience of my life. Because I know I'm going to like it. And it took one second. <laughs> this looks, is why Jeff Bezos is rich. One of my goals <laughs> is to have an income where I can just have takeout forever. I enjoy cooking. I've gotten I don't, really good at it lately. I suck. You're going to be, you're going to be like a monster humanoid by the time like we finally get to see each other Take face doesn't and have to face be to face unhealthy. again. I mean, it just has to be expensive because it's not the same thing as buying a whole bunch of food and slowly preparing it at, at a reasonable expense. I, I feel like if I Dude. ever live close to you, uh, for any reason, our first series is going to be. Wanderbot and Shell teach Keith how to adult. No, <laughs> I don't need to adult. I just need to get morbidly I... rich so I can have a personal chef. You, can, you need like to the get one morbidly thing I rich want. so you can become morbidly <laughs> obese. I get it. I see how it is. <laughs> I'm terrified of actually getting fat. Yeah. Yeah? How come? Because your skin doesn't go back. That's well, the scariest does, shit. It, it does. The people that it like does. stretch out so You're far because they get morbidly obese and then they like then they're like, I now have like, oh yeah, I'm skinny now, but my front is like an accordion. Well, and I mean, the main trick is you have to, you have you, to lose that You can get weight. surgery. Yeah, yeah that's you not great either. Surgery, but like, yeah, that's not a, that's I don't want to hit that kind of rock bottom want. ever. No. <laughs> I've been comfortably riding the borderline of overweight, and that's it. <laughs> let's, let's not fucking over-exaggerate what territory I go in here. Like, I like, yeah. cross the line from normal weight to overweight. Which is a surprisingly low bar. <laughs> oh no, it's pretty easy to go to overweight. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. probably I've never been, my points. and I've never been past overweight. There's a whole bunch of other scary colors after that. <laughs> and, been, and I don't. And I've There's never two. been there. There's two. Yeah, that's that's too many. They're all scary. Okay, they're bad for I you. I think in terms of BMI, I'm probably. I think I'm like a point or two below overweight. Ah. And it's just it's like, if I gain five pounds in there, I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. That doesn't make any sense. There's yeah, like oh literally yeah. less pounds than there are points before I'm overweight. I just need, I just need <laughs> I, to, I I need to like commit BMI like some sort like... of alchemy between myself and uh, Andrew. Because uh, <laughs> like he's the, dangerously the underweight. Under... Oh yeah. Yeah. No, BMI is stupid. It should, it should, it's used to measure populations, not individuals. Well, yeah, Shell, Shell likes to be like, okay, so you need to lose, like, 40 pounds to be in, like, the healthy range of BMI. I'm like, that makes no sense. <laughs> That's slightly terrifying. 
Yeah, uh, that's pretty weird. Yeah, and like Andrew and I are about the same height. I'm a few inches taller, but I'm twice the weight because he is skeleton man. <laughs> and I'm like, how? Well, I mean, he does smokes, which is like, he smokes yeah. a lot too. Yes, yeah, like, he does yeah, smoke a lot. Reduce your appetite. 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 Yeah. Uh, is that some kind of dinosaur? It's actually a genuine like efficiency loss when we're recording. Because it's like, hey, we, we record like an hour of smoke break, and record another hour of smoke break. I'm like, how, are you, how is there so many smoke breaks in this day? It's actually like alarming how often he like go well, out. I mean, and, and it's a when, big it's a big time loss because he specifically doesn't smoke in his house ever. Which is a good yeah. practice, but also means that he doesn't smoke while recording ever. So like when we have to like die stop. from lung cancer is a man's actual goal. Ooh! He is going to pro uh, progress towards that. 25% hey. of his life is, yes, is a smoke Keep. break. Keith, look at these things. You see these things? What things yeah. am I looking at? These things are fucking awesome. I've ever seen yeah. these things in real life. They're the coolest thing I've ever seen. They like are. The, me the mega cranes? Have you ever destroyed them? He just them? blew one up. <laughs> it's cool. There's Man. more for now. <laughs> you know how much like one of these things costs? They're like millions Lots. of dollars to make. They're so oh, yeah. awesome. They use them... Uh, for people who don't know, those like big crane things that Wander is going to be blowing up, those are used to load uh, super freighters. Um... And regular freighters too, I would imagine. But they're used to what load big like things. Yeah, they basically like you put like two trillion dollars worth oh, of shit, goods underneath more. them, and then they put them on a boat. And um, what was really funny is uh, somebody explained to me how those get shipped across the world because they basically get made in one spot in China. Uh, they put them, they they load them up onto a super freighter. And then, like, ship them across the world and then take them off the Super They're Freighters so they can load Super Freighters. Super Freight. Super Freight. It's super Freight, eh? Anyway, they're awesome, and Wander just blew up, like, millions of dollars worth of shit. Yeah, every single one of them. It's one of those bizarre. Th th at the same time, I don't think they would just disintegrate like that because they're, like, a piece, new. <laughs> basically. But it's, no, like the, it's like the equivalent of like having jack a jack shit to them. It's like yeah. when you see a video of like a of a boat transporting boats. Yeah, yeah. No, it's, just, it's a super Those freighter that transports super freighter loaders. It's a boat that takes boats to other close places. Like Remind ring, be boats. <laughs> Remind me when EDF five comes out so I can name myself Captain Collateral Damage instead of Captain Anime. Captain Collateral. <laughs> That's a good one. Anyway, what were we talking about? Oh, yes. getting fat. What we were talking about before getting fat, there was something funny I wanted That's to say. That's pretty much where we started. There was something <laughs> yeah. funny I something wanted to say, It though. was something about ordering takeout. Oh. Oh, Jeff, yeah, yeah. Jeff Bezos. Okay, so Jeff Bezos is the richest man in the world right now who got his money not by, like, skimming government or, like, owning oil. I think, um, uh, I, I think Bill Gates actually just finally passed him again. Who's the oh, richest woman at this baby. point? Is that Oprah? Or is it yeah. J.K. Rowling? No, there's know. that. Isn't there that lady in Australia that's rich as fuck who sh should not be because she's a terrible person? Because <laughs> that's how money works is moral. So anyway, as a joke, I decided I was going to email Jeff Bezos. So I sent him an email with a link to that article, and the bot uh, and underneath that it just said, "You're welcome." <laughs> and I'm looking forward to uh, getting my inevitable response, or not. Or, <laughs> or your new job. <laughs> Where you go find another one. I didn't actually do that, but I... I... It would be... I thought about it, and then it was like... Which is almost as good as uh, doing things, which is why a lot of I people don't, don't accomplish stuff. I think if I waste even, like, 30 seconds of Jeff Bezos' time, that's, like, what, $75,000 of lost productivity? Oh, hey, it's this guy! No, yeah, oh, this guy! Him. They capture him? No, he's sleeping. Oh. No, he's asleep, he's, until I shoot him. Right now. Oh, why, though? He's so nice. Because he's a dick! Oh. Maybe it's grown too complacent being at the top of the Oh, he hurts me just if I touch him. Wait, I think I think we're doing the traditional kaiju storyline. What? I think he's going to become our friend. No. No. Can't. Why not? You think this game was programmed to have that put into it? Hell no. We have allies on our team in this game. Oh no. I'm saying like they're going to do the traditional Godzilla thing where like it slowly becomes clear that oh, the, that the oh, lizard oh, thing's on our team. Oh no. You guys hey, goofed hard. Why did you do that, fucking Captain Anime? 
I didn't. No, that's, I that's a, I'm air, the guy that's that a story put down raid. The, I put down those stationary guns that are shooting him. I don't get the ability to artillery like that. No, this I is know. A, that's, I was just blaming you because I operate like an animal. It's and purely by association. So I've got really bad news for this round. I What's didn't that? bring guns that can shoot this thing. <laughs> well, you want to restart it right now? Well, oh, because I'm we dead. should restart it right yeah. now. Yeah, we should. We should Wait, retreat. I'm gonna. Killed me? I'm gonna roll. Uh, you got bombed too. There was yeah. bombs. So what's the? Yeah. What's, where, where, what do we I need didn't to see more bombs happen? Shit. They happen. You need to pay oh. attention to your map. Um, Shit. What do we need to do to uh, to hurt this guy? Anything special? Uh, shoot him. Oh, you have to, you have to believe. What did, what did you not have then? A gun. Uh, so <laughs> I went. I went air raider, thinking I could bring one of my tanks. But I forgot. Oh. You don't. So the way air raider works is every time you kill something, you get a small amount of points. Um, which is fine, except for against one singular enemy, there are no points. Ah, fair point. Yeah, so I was sitting there I'm being gonna like, try out a melee weapon on this guy. This will be interesting. He probably can't hurt me. <laughs> I'm sure he'll be fine. We only, the last thing that happened when we retreated was him charging forward through everybody, but so you'll probably be fine. I know. You can just face tank it with your face. Sponsored by Amazon. That's the that's the most tanky part of my body. This thing has a really Wait, a shitty rapid... fire rate. Oh my god, I've got a... I wish I had subtitles so I can understand these people better. They're like, so it's taking a hiatus. What does that mean? It's sleeping? I've got a rapid fire rocket launcher. This is amazing. This gun makes me feel like an idiot. I mean, I really feel like this thing's gonna be like, it's gonna slowly become our friend over the course of the game, and then the final one is gonna fight an evil one. <laughs> Can't no. you fight? You beat the game already? Bird run. Bird run. Bird run. Have you already beat the entire game, Wonder? Ow. No. Why do you know this is gonna happen? My weapon is fucking atrocious. Okay. Uh, this will be the what? last time. I I tried a new I tried a new weapon. It was. It made me feel like an asshole, so I don't want to play play with it. <laughs> it's gonna no, feel nothing like makes me asshole. more annoyed. Nothing. Nothing annoys me more than feeling like an idiot when I'm playing a video game. <laughs> Boy, uh, don't don't make one of your designated slots in your channel uh, constant stream of puzzle games then. <laughs> no, 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 I can play puzzle games just fine. I mean, like, okay, you get to the end of Hotline Miami, and the boss fight is literally you hug a fountain and try not to die. Like, that's stupid. It made me feel like a dumbass. I don't want to feel like a dumbass when I play video games. I want to feel cool. Nobody has any clue what the hell I'm talking about. Nope. I barely I remember what I'm talking about anyway. It's okay. I have never played any of the Hotline Miami games. They just never fit in this thing's mouth. Oh, I can't. Of course, why would it be programmed also, to have that? You sort should of probably also get out of there religion. before the uh, the airstrikes kill you. Yeah, no, 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 no. I don't things. know why you guys are going over there. I'm I'm the aerator. When the airstrikes come in, I can just fly away. You that tried flying away. Right. Now get away. See, I'm fine. It only All took three seconds. You're not being concerned for me because you're my friends and you don't want to restart the mission again. Most of the latter, not really so much the former. All the bullshit. Um, right, why was I, I mad again? I care about you looking good and not having to revive you mid-mission. Oh, yeah. Um, anyway, you can go fuck yourself. <laughs> I mean, here he comes! Like, right now? Oh, shit. Oh, I'm... Ow. Okay. Oh my god, can you hear them all singing? Yes, I can. There's so many of them. Oh shit, he's charging me again. I have to back away from the airstrike that decidedly missed him. Yes, so many Wait, of them were singing. Okay, there are two strike, rounds of airstrike. Did they just airstrike all of the soldiers? Uh, yeah. They airstrike most of them, yes. Listen, they've got to save our Mother Earth from alien, alien attack. Oh god. Oh, ah, ah! The other why rough thing they, about fighting why, one enemy like this. Why are there like so many stupid ass airstrikes? Why are they airstriking all of the people? 
cl Captain Collateral damage. I'm not that! This is me! I thought I was away from the tear strike. What the hell? And I was we don't have specifically any specifically away from it. Oh. We don't have any uh, HP pickups, so if we go no. down, we're Dunsky. Huzzah! Oh, I'm dead. Thanks for the, oh thanks my for the friendly fire well, let's, strike. Uh, let's restart this one. Okay. My favorite part about idea. this fight is how, how it to takes like three better. minutes to start the fight because they sit there and yeah. freaking do this second. part. So Wait, why are we restarting it? Because everyone died? Oh, yeah. I mean, I thought... I didn't know you could restart without going back to the menu. Yeah. It's basically yes. Was. I just don't do it very often because usually we need to like redo things. But no, uh, hey Keith. Uh, so after a short bit, all of these guys are going to get little uh, carrots above their heads. We want to recruit them as soon as they uh, as they become recruitable. I don't, know, I don't know how to recruit book. things. Uh, <laughs> that's an interesting question. I don't know. It's the interact button. Uh, do you know what button you use to get into tank my tanks? Yeah. It would be that one. There's the airstrikes. Look at those weird looking ships. That's what I get for not paying attention. Yeah, you're dumb. I, uh, I can him. come get you in a bit, maybe. <laughs> so I just found out that we can leave, like, waypoints. Yeah. That's weird. I can just mark things in the environment. Like that oh, guy. Wow, what a ragdoll pose. Okay. Uh, Keith, apparently you can just walk next to them. So see if you can start uh, picking them up. Because if we can get these guys... Tell? <laughs> how do you tell they're on your team? Uh, they'll follow you around. Motherfucker. Well, one way or another, I gotta leave because if I'm here, he's just gonna keep running me over and I'm gonna die instantly. Hello, Burb. Hello, Savior. That being oh, held dead. Never mind. Well, I forgot I have to press a They're all dying anyway. Donker! Oh, bad news. Oh, Jeebles! I lived. Yeah, that, uh, that was interesting. Ah, oh, shit, he seems to be locked onto me. I'm gonna die. No, he's definitely trying to kill me, which is fine. Oh, an airstrike, great. Ah, Thanks for that, world. Ah, fuck this mission. Wow. This mission is ass. The, the most dangerous thing is ourselves. Man is the real monster. <laughs> Turns out it, it was us all along that were the, okay, the if true we danger. Okay, one more time, I'm just gonna play as the APC. Like, I'm just gonna play as the Air Raider, bring the APC, and we're gonna go joyriding. While we Joy wait for ride. the airstrikes to get I'm, this thing out. Uh, oh, fuck Burb this. Can we restart again? I need to change my weapon. What are you using? This is... Here. Uh... Are both of your weapons garbage, or just one of them? Because I can both are garbage. Because I just want to. I. I, uh, I need to get a ranged weapon. Okay. Like a last long ranged time. one. Let's. This will be the last time. I'll just okay. snipe at him. It'll be fine. This entire episode will just be us repeating this mission seventeen <laughs> times. But it's a pain in the dick, dude. Tell me you're not, like, getting annoyed halfway to fucking... Uh, excuse me. I've had beer. <laughs> I have had beer, and I have not had dinner. I... yeah. Fair point. I have had Imperial IPA, 9% by volume. So though I have one beer, it is actually more like two beer. Anyway. I have oh, had water. okay. See, this is what I wanted. Look at this. Look at I this. I have had water badass. and sass. <laughs> Look at this badass thing compared to what I was using before. Yeah, I've had chocolate milk and stroganoff like six hours ago. I am starving. What is stroganoff? You've uh, never had beef stroganoff? Oh, I, I assumed it was a drink when you said stroganoff. Oh yeah, I guess it just kind of sounds like Schmirnoff. I honestly, I, I, I mean, I've had a number of food types. I'm bad at knowing what they're called. I've, I, <laughs> wow! It's just I'm I don't I don't know what beef stroganoff well, is, but I might have had really, it. You really like have food you is your to. nemesis, dude. I yeah, get I get yeah. a lot of shit during Zelda, where it's like you don't know what that thing is or how to pronounce it, and I'm like I don't. It's it's it looks nice. <laughs> Actually, uh, Odin's fear was way worse, actually. 
Because it's like food porn in the game, and I'm like, I don't know what any of these things are, but they seem nice. Why? I'm curious, why have you like avoided learning about food so much? I'm going to die. Oh my god, they you changed interact the with end. food. You interact with food three times a day. Yep. And yet you've oh. learned nothing. I've learned, learned some nothing, things. Dude. That doesn't mean I know what strong enough means. I learned what Stroganoff is from Calvin and Hobbes. Did you ever read Calvin and Hobbes? I did. Do you remember Stroganoff? No. Oh. Probably just forgot it. I also don't remember the names of any, like, cars, really, except for the ones I've owned. Like, there's certain things... I, I, I don't a know. Ford uh, Pinto, a Ford Pinto... Uh, oh, shit. Um... I also don't really oh, know dude. the names of people, unless they're actually around on a regular basis. If I meet people at a party, and then I don't see them for two months, and then they're at another party, and I'm like, I, I'm just gonna be an endless loop of me not knowing their name every time, because it's been too long. And my I feel brain like, didn't know uh, that those were ones I was supposed to remember. <laughs> I feel like I should play a car, me car mechanic simulator with, like, <laughs> you, Keith. Like, we do <laughs> some, some shit, like, that doesn't make any sense. Because, like, I feel like... Did he just, just get stunned? Uh, he, he jumped back for some reason. Yeah, he kind of shook his head and jumped backwards. It was really, really unusual. He might have just been clearing distance so he could then immediately jump directly at me. Which cat caught me entirely by surprise because I had turned around because I'm trying to recruit all the NPCs. Even though I'm not entirely sure if that's, uh... Just go up to them and be like, Wololo. Dude, I wololoed all of them and then they got completely smushed and I felt bad because I am the reason they are now dead. Yeah. <laughs> Was there, any, was there any kind of joke built into the Pinto thing, or was that just a random selection? Making fun of uh, those are really, really Pinto bad cars. Oh, yeah. no. <laughs> if you, like, if, if you, like, I was gonna say the Reliant Robin, but then the joke moved on. No, my and first, so was like, my oh, first okay. car was an 82 Firebird, and my current car is a Honda Civic. You know what the Reliant Robin is, at least. Nope. Right, Keith? Oh, no. man. The Reliant oh, Robin a, is a we fucking a hilarious car. You. Is this one of yeah. those jokes, like when everyone jokes about that one phone that's indestructible? N no, no. The Nokia or whatever. Well, no, it it's the opposite. opposite. Is it the opposite? I think is it, actually, oh, it's like a really shitty, like it's like it's one of the shittiest cars I've ever seen. It's one of the shittiest. I, things is it the, is I've it the car seen. where if it got re-ended, it exploded? No, no that's, that's the Pinto. Pinto. That oh. is the Pinto. I know that reference. I just don't know what it's. I didn't know what it's called. We want to tell you about the. We're gonna tell you about the Reliant Robin, because it's really funny. <laughs> yeah, Wander, you seem really eager. You want to talk about the Reliant okay, Robin. Okay, so the Reliant Robin... I don't watch much Top Gear, but I watched that episode, <laughs> and I started watching Top but Gear. But when I do... So, um, the Reliant Wander Robin Tosecki's is man. a uh, cheap oh, and easy-to-mass-produce car, uh, produced largely in uh, the Northern UK. England. Yeah, Northern yep. England. Uh, because small roads, tight corners, uh, people were you know, broke. Yeah, people is were hella was. broke too. <laughs> yeah. uh, so that that also kind of factored in. So um, it's a plastic car with three wheels. Yeah. But instead of having the three wheels be two in the front and one in the back, it's two in the back and one in the front, which means anytime you try and take a uh, a corner, or you know, or going on a hill, you flip over. And people yes. make fun Almost of smart invariably. cars. Well. See, like, smart cars are actually, you know, well-designed and have good centers of gravity and generally are actually kind of, you know, safe. They're just uh, embarrassing. Yeah, they're just embarrassing to look at. This like thing Crocs. Is this thing is truly embarrassing. This is like, um, Crocs is like knockoff ultra cheap. <laughs> uh, like, a knockoff of a Chinese knockoff brand. It's so bad. So, um, he mentioned Top Gear. You probably yeah. didn't explain why that is. There's a clip of Top Gear. Well, no, which it's is like a full so 15 minute great. Epi it's a oh. full 15 minute episode. It's great. Dedicated entirely to the Reliant Robin. And it's just like one of the hosts of Top Gear is just driving around. And every time he takes a corner, the car flips over. Yeah. And then every, and then he's just like, oh, he like flips the, he picks the car back up because it weighs like nothing. Yeah, and well, then various celebrities will like then, show up to uh, yeah, help. Yeah, he kept him. asking like various celebrities, like, "Can you help me flip my car over?" And then it did. Oh yeah, it has a motorcycle engine. That's the other thing. It was yes. really popular 
among you because you because it was cheap and you didn't need a license for you it. You don't need a, you don't need a driver's license because it just it's not a two axle vehicle. Yeah, and it had a motorcycle engine. Oh, yeah, and yeah. so at one point he goes to like uh, was it a Reliant Robin fan meeting and he shows up yes. by like going at high speed and flipping it in front of yeah. them. They're like concerned. <laughs> they all just like and, look like, at him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think, oh, I've, yeah, I think I've always been a disappointment to my dad because he's one of those people that like go up to a car show and can say exactly what sub model of every vehicle is on display and all that other crap and which parts are aftermarket and all this other stuff because he works at an auto upholstery shop for the last like 30 years. Uh huh. So instead, I learned nothing about cars to compensate. <laughs> it's okay, it's not feudal England. You can take a different trade from your parents. So the secret is that when we go, we sit down to have dinner, and we have literally no points of conversation. <laughs> Whoa, there's some people here that showed up with really badass-looking laser beams. This giant well, yeah, cloud this of is... floating blood that's never going away, apparently. Yeah, this laser is beams. one of those. This is one of those missions where we're just supposed to hold out until these guys show up, and then they start kicking its ass. It's very easy once the, our own military stops aerating us. Yeah. Also true. Yeah, if they had all he does is rampage around. He he kind of sucks. He's always sucked. Yeah, he's probably one of the easiest bosses I've like ever it fought in any video game. Of a, he is inside of a building, just kind of hanging out there, being like, "It'll protect me." Yeah, he took like it peak won't. damage, so he clipped backwards through it during his damage animation. You're running away, or is that Ranami? Yeah, yeah I believe away. he's running away. Ever. I think we won the mission. I think we did this mission like four times, and in reality, all Bird needed to do was go stand in the building and watch. Oh for yeah! A while wow! What the, the fuck? I just wow! A bunch of exhaust just went into my face. Bus exhaust. Weird how that happened. Are you? Because I'm currently underneath the bus because Wander threw me there. <laughs> out of the left, he's just down there, Bird. Exhaust. I don't know if I can even hurt you. Well, but Wander can. Hurt can. Me emotionally. <laughs> Wander can. <laughs> I have a machine gun rocket launcher. It's great. Aiming like a wrecking ball. Emotionally. Wow. Zero items acquired. That was fucking worth my time. Hooray! We accomplished very little. We shot at a Yay. guy until he walked away. Even though he wasn't doing anything because he was asleep. 